slightly ranty talk uh, about memory tools. Um, so let, let's start with a definition. Um, a memory leak is an object in memory uh, that won't be used anymore. Um, and what I'm gonna talk about, the, the problem I wanna address is the, what I call the leak investigation problem, which is I know I have a leak, um, and the question is where is it, and what can I do about it? So first you need to know a little bit about how uh, the market sweep algorithm works. That's the one that's used in most modern browsers. And so um, you have a set of objects that are uh, called roots, and from the roots, uh, the garbage collector tries to find all the objects that are reachable from the roots. All the objects that are not, like the isolated one here, uh, are considered garbage and are collected. Um, so let's talk about tools. So yeah, um, I, I, gave, I gave a talk uh, earlier this year on, on garbage collection. Someone asked me, well, uh, could we have uh, a runtime view of this reference graph? And the best answer I had was no. Uh, let's talk about tools. Um, um, to solve the leak investigation problem, um, uh, what, what, what could we expect from a tool? Well, some people pretend that they make tools that automatically find uh, leaks, uh, but if that were the case, um, uh, web browsers would just improve their garbage collectors so that uh, they use the, new, the techniques of the tools. So that's not really true, or I don't think it is. Uh, in my opinion, at best, a tool uh, can assist human beings in finding leaks, which is bridging uh, the expertise that human beings have uh, of their code um, and what's going on in the runtime. So let's talk about Chrome and the hip snapshot. Um, so that's what, ha that, that's what you have when, when you take a snapshot. Uh, that's a table. Um, that's two tables, actually. Uh, and in the first table, you have objects uh, sorted or grouped by uh, constructor, um, which is sort of not all, always what you want because sometimes you create objects with JSON dot parse. Where, where do these objects appear? It's not very clear. Um, they talk about tree. In, the me in memory, you have a graph. Um, you have internal details like uh, compiled code uh, at the top. Uh, um, and then th there is no strong, th there is no good relationship with, with your source code, with, with what's going on in, in your application, so you don't have an inline number, et cetera. And also, from, the, from a purely UI per perspective, there is lots of wasted space, lots of white space, uh, which isn't fantastic, and tables. That memory, uh, the, the JavaScript runtime is a very complex data, data structure, uh, graph, so table aren't really the, the most appropriate tool. Uh, you can take also in Chrome two snapshots and make a comparison. Um, and here uh, it shows you uh, the number of, of objects per constru by constructor that appeared, disappeared, and then the delta between both. Um, I think that the temporary objects that were allocated and removed between the two snapshots, we don't really need to know about them. Well, I don't think we do. Um, so yeah, and i11 uh, released uh, released a, a tool about memory, and it's pretty much the same, except that it's flat UI. Um, this is terrible. <laughs> this is not good tooling. We can do better. And so, uh, what are the requirements? Uh, I want a graph. I want to know only about the surviving objects. I want something that tells me about my source code. And so, my proposal. I, I've been recently write, working on a tool. Uh, that's, that's a live representation of the JavaScript runtime in a web page. Uh, and I use, just use G3. Um, I don't have too much time to, to, to go on the details on, 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 this, uh, on this thing, but I feel that it's better than tables. Uh, so I've done some code to do the visualization, the difference, uh, and uh, there's lots to do. Um, my, my, the, the, the word I wanna let you with is, um, we should expect better tools and maybe build our own, we're developers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>